$82,000 and you don't even get a V8. You can say whatever you want about that inline six turbo. It's not gonna be as reliable in the long run. It's pretty simple. It's not gonna be as reliable. Yeah, it's been out for a few years, but it's been having some issues. And it doesn't even have a dipstick. You can't even check your oil. They want you to use an electronic bill to check it inside. Come on, guys, this is just common sense. Any mechanic would agree, pretty much, unless they're being paid by someone, would agree. Turbos are gonna make more issues. On top of that, not being able to check your oil. I mean, come on, that's so simple. This truck, it's weird because Stellantis, I feel like, is really trying to destroy this company. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, it's an inline six, which is a little bit more simplistic, but when you add two turbos on that, things get a lot more complicated. And then the MPG, didn't they do it because of fuel economy? Some people will say, oh, they did it because of emissions, not because of MPG, but don't you use less fuel when you drive less, when you get better MPG? I mean, isn't that how that works? Uh, the Hemi was getting an average of 19 combined. 17. Now this is the high output, so yeah, it has a little bit more power. It might not be as good. We'll check one that's not the high output, but still, 17 combined, 21 in the highway, 15 in the city. That's not any better. You're not getting any better fuel economy, so what's the point? It's better on emissions? But okay, how about if the turbos go out? How about if this causes more issues in the long run, which is going to need more repairs, right? Which is going to cause more issues, more stuff to be used because you got to fix more stuff, which is worse for the environment, right? So that's where I just don't understand this. And then also how dealers act. Like, let me show you this truck with an extra $1,300 in BS fees. And this is the problem with, with Dodge dealerships, to be honest. Uh, they're one of the worst. Uh, out of all of them, they really, during, you know, the whole 2020, 21, they took advantage by far. Uh, let's see. So you have a... $1,300 BS package for window tent, wheel locks, and resist all, which would bring it up to $98,000. Uh, and the only way you're going to sell this truck for $98,000 is if the dealer discounts it big time, and then if Dodge discounts, if Stellantis actually sends a rebate. And that's a $2,500 diesel. It's still too expensive. But these 1500s with the V6, I just... And I know some people are really a big fan of Dodge, and I get it. You know, you're kind of like a still, you know, you're a fanboy. But it's not the company that it used to be. It's not the same company. It really is not. They're completely different. Their leadership is European at the end of the day. And I lived in Germany. I literally lived in Germany. And that's what I don't get is they're like the Hornet. The Hornet is definitely more of a European vehicle. I would agree. But still, I mean, look, we got to stop here and check this. 64000 And this dealer doesn't have, like, the other dealership was showing. It's discounted ten grand. Not this one. They want to hide everything. 19 combined. So this is as good as you're getting, uh, which maybe if you get a two-wheel drive, maybe it's a little bit better. But still, 19 combined. So it's the same as a V8. But you took the V8 away from me for fuel. I mean, just, am I the only person that, does that not make sense to you? They took the V8 away and you get the same fuel economy. And you don't get the sound. Think about the sound of a V8. You cannot replicate it. And it's just something about the power delivery. Whenever you hit on the gas on a V8, you get the power. These turbos, you gotta wind up. They're annoying to me. Uh, they're just not what I want, to be honest. And we'll get into the bed in a minute, because look at what they did to the bed. It, practically, you don't even have one anymore. But yeah, these Hornets are European vehicles, basically. But at the end of the day, I don't care what European, this is the problem. They're not going to sell in Germany. I don't care where because no one's going to buy a car for this much. You know, half the people I know in Europe don't even buy cars. So it's just the reality. Uh, but yeah, so uh, man, I can't believe the same fuel economy and you got rid of the V8. Who is the leadership that said that'll be a great idea? Let's get rid of the V8 for a Turbo 6 that's going to get the same fuel economy. That makes complete sense. Now, when it comes to the beds, to me, I mean, I don't, I know a lot of people love these beds, so I'm not going to say too much, but for me, you don't have much of a bed. I mean, but I've seen these being used quite a bit. If, if you like them, you like them. Uh, but to me, they're just kind of, I don't know, I, they're just not, 
Ugh, I just don't like them. But just because you take such a huge chunk of the bed away. And, uh, yeah, I mean, wow. It's like when you see it in person, it's a huge portion of the bed taken away. It makes it so much thinner. Uh, but, I mean, it's still a bed. But these trucks are becoming just different. They're not what they used to be. Let me know what you think. Do you like the V6? I know I've had a lot of comments saying, oh, the V6 is a great, it's awesome. It's, you don't know what you're talking about. It's more powerful, more this, more that. I get it's more powerful. I understand that. Same deal with what's going on at Toyota. They're pushing these turbo engines. Yeah, they have more torque. They might have a little more horsepower. They might feel more powerful. But to me, I'm not a big fan of it because you got to wind up the turbo. And I like that V8. You hit on the gas, you hear the rumble. You barely got it. You know what I mean? It's There's something about the V8 that you just cannot replicate with these V6s. No matter how big the turbo is, there's no way to replicate a 5.7. You know, there's no way to do that. You can add sound. You can do whatever you want. They're just ruining this brand, and it's really sad, actually. Leave your comment. Let me know what you think. Have a blessed day.